Of course, we know better. But before, they were called conjoined twins. They were known as Siamese twins. Ever wonder why? This morning, Mo Rocca tells us the fascinating story of Chang and Ang, the twins from Siam. Welcome to the, I believe, 29th annual Bunker Reunion. At the Bunker Family Reunion in Mount Airy, North Carolina, barbecue's not on the menu. This is a sticky rice ah. with the coconut milk. And this is one reunion where relatives take sides. Are you on the Chang or the Ang side? Chang. Excuse me, are you on the Chang or the Ang side? Chang. And are you a descendant? I am. I'm a great granddaughter of Ang. The folks here are descendants of the conjoined twins Chang and Ang Bunker, two of the most popular entertainers of the early 19th century. They were portrayed in a very exotic way. Dress always identically, same suit, same shirt. The boys were born in 1811 on the other side of the planet in what's now Thailand and was then called Siam. Ever heard the term Siamese twins? It started with them. They were perfectly healthy and normal, except for a four inch long band of flesh and cartilage that connected them. Chang was the more irritable and Eng was the more moderate and the wiser. In his book, Inseparable, author Yunta Huang describes how a couple of Westerners saw Chang and Ang as a couple of lottery tickets, essentially purchasing the 17-year-old boys and bringing them by ship to America. During their four-month voyage, the twins learned to speak English, to play chess, and more. The boys can do backflips together. Okay, we have yes. to stop there for a yes. second because that's not incidental, that's a big deal. It is a big deal, yes. <laughs> they arrived in 1829 and took the country by storm, objects of fascination for a public that didn't know what to make of them. Were they seen as monsters in their lives? Certainly when the paying viewers flocked into the tents or the rooms, those people definitely looked at these boys as, as freaks or monsters. They were mistreated too, barely seeing any of the money they brought in. So when they turned 21, they decided to split from their owners. They eventually wrote their own version, kind of Siamese Declaration of Independence. After seven more years of exhibiting themselves, they retired here in Mount Airy. The surrounding Blue Ridge Mountains reminded them of Siam. They adopted the surname Bunker and became farmers. What do you got here? They called it their Bible, and it's been in the family ever since. Today, family members say there are about 1,500 descendants of Chang and Ang. He must be the youngest bunker here. Yeah, he's eight weeks old. Oh my gosh, look at him. This is my grandmother Adelaide's rose bush that she planted probably 150 years ago. This is the house that Chang built and where his great-granddaughter Alex Sink grew up. And then the outhouse was down the hill. Do we know what the outhouse looked like? You know, because... We know it was a two-holer. <laughs> She's one of the more prominent descendants. She was the Democratic nominee for Florida's governor in 2010. But Sink remembers that as a kid, she stood out in town for what she says were her distinctive looks. I remember walking down the streets of Little Mount Airy, North Carolina, and going into a store, and somebody would look at me and say, you must be one of those bunkers. But I have to give credit to my father because he said, you should be so proud of the fact that you come from the Siamese twins. This one, please. Which is why a group of 10 descendants made a recent trip to Thailand. To the village where Chang and Ang's story began. <laughs> I'm where I came from. My ancestors were here. They didn't make it back, but I did. That's Ang's great-great-granddaughter, Robin Craver. A lady was brought to tears from meeting me. I'm just little old Robin Craver from North Carolina. And this is her cousin, Zach Blackman Jr., who organized the trip. It's unbelievable the respect they have for two young boys that came to America. They had their physical disabilities, but they lived the American dream. But as it turns out, a complicated American dream. 
You say you want more? This week on Mobituaries, Chang and Ang, the Siamese twins. Mobituaries, wherever you get your podcasts.